The hair we're working with today is the Free Tris Two Time Wand Curl Braid in the Miracle Curl. This is the color Ombre 30. And we're gonna be using two packs of this hair. You're also gonna need an oval part crochet wig cap. This is also made by Free Trish. Make sure you have your crochet hook handy. And I'm gonna be using this wig block to create the wig. So this is pretty straightforward, you guys. Just crochet the hair in to the wig cap. You do wanna space it out pretty heavily in the back because this hair is really, really fluffy. If I was doing a normal install on my hair, I would use the same method, the same amount of hair. And for the first pack of hair, I did not separate the curls at all. I wanted to maintain the structure of the curl as much as I could. And then when I got closer to the front and the second pack, I started to pull the hair apart. Doing it this way reduces the amount of frizz and tangling you might experience over time. And I wanted to get at least four to five wears out of this unit. So there you have it. That is the completed look without any cutting. The cap itself actually comes with these plastic pieces that kind of hold it together so it stays on the wig block. I'm just gonna go ahead and snip those off. Hi guys. I am going to show you the first way to install this U-part crochet wig I created. This is gonna be the option for leave out. So this is the amount of leave out I have right here. And I kind of put it more towards the center because y'all know I'm trying to get this little section to grow back. Um, and I did not braid my hair down. I rubber banded. Uh, large sections on the sides and one right here in the middle and I've got two pigtails rubber band down here simply because um, my wig combs need something to kind of grab onto so if I didn't have anything to keep them from sliding down then the wig would just slide all the way down but I'm going to add a little bit of security for that so you'll see what I do for that in just a few minutes um, so, so to prep my leave out, I'm actually going to be wand curling my hair. And this is my Extava wand curler. I love this thing because it is interchangeable. I picked this up from Amazon a long time ago and I really love this thing. For the wand curls, I kind of figured, I kind of figured that they would drop a little bit over time. So I'm gonna go with the smaller um, attachment here. And basically, oh, all you do is just twist it, twist it from the lock position, and then this part just comes right off. And it kind of has like, um, it kind of has like a safety feature where you can't do anything with this unless this is completely turned off. So that's helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the smaller wand curl on and let that heat up. For the back end of it, I'm gonna use some bobby pins to just kind of bobby pin my hair up out of the way. So I'm gonna make sure that this middle comb is situated right here. And I'm not highly concerned about my hair color because it's really just gonna look like um, highlights when I get done. All right, so that's in there. That's not going anywhere. So here's the trick that I'm going to do to one hide this part of the leave out. I saw this trick on Instagram. It's on several accounts, so I'm not really sure um, who is responsible for it, but it was a fun trick and I really wanted to see if this worked. So I'm basically gonna take some bobby pins, right? And I'm going to take bits of the hair and kind of fold it in on itself, kind of towards my leave out, and then boppy pin it down, going downward. You see that? It kind of like covers up everything. So I'm basically folding the hair over the U part section. Can you see that? Blending in a whole lot better, and now you can't you can't even see the cap. There we go. So uh, there you go. 
You can't even see the line where the cap starts. It looks like a crochet that sucker in. All right, I am all heated up. I am going to spray my heat protectant on my leave out and then I'm going to wand curl everything. I'm just gonna spray the heat protectant on my hand so I'm not spraying it all over the place. And it looks like, I can't really tell which direction this is going, so I'm just gonna go with whatever direction feels good. This thing is hot. It does come with a glove, so I probably should be using the glove, but I don't know where it is, but there it is. Here's my curl. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna um, relax, I'm sure, in the next couple of hours or so. So I wanna get it as tight as possible. I really don't care otherwise. Um, you know this humidity don't care takes no prisoners so my original plan was to flexi ride my hair but it, I didn't have time so this is the alternative this is the fast alternative um, but you are more than welcome to and I'll probably do that next time I'll probably flexi ride my hair um, that way I, all I got to do is wake up take them out and be done with it so I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit and then um Style it up and then I think I might chop chop this up a little bit and then I'm about to be on my way off. Alright, so this is the final look. I ended up cutting um, a lot more off than I anticipated, but for some reason with this type of curl, I always want it to look kind of like rounded and stacked and make it look really bouncy. You can definitely leave it whatever length you want, but I really like this shape, especially for my face shape. Um, it's kind of like um, rounded, rounded kind of. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyways, as you can see, my natural hair kind of gives it like a little highlight. Um, and to blend it in, I just kind of like pulled it through and then folded the hair on top of it. That's gonna keep them from popping out a whole lot. I'm gonna take this bad boy off tonight when I get back um, and then I'm going to get up super early in the morning. I have a photo shoot tomorrow. I wanted to use this hair for and for that I'm going to show you guys how to style it without the leave out. So I'm going to head on out and I will catch you guys tomorrow. So here we are the next morning for my leave out. I just tied it up and then swooped it on the side and attached it to one of my pigtails. And then I'm just going to reinstall the wig as I did before. So earlier in the video, I mentioned you should set aside about a half a pack or about 10 strands of hair so that if you wanted to do the no leave out method, you can do so. I'm just pulling apart. I think I only set aside like five pieces. I'm just pulling them apart and then I am attaching them to basically my braidless crochet leave out section. And I apologize if I'm yawning all in this uh, clip because it was so early in the morning, you guys. I'm so sorry. So once I finish the leave out portion of it, I'm going to chop her up some more because you know those leave out pieces I didn't cut. I wanna make sure that they match what I'm going with. I ended up doing a bang look, which I don't normally do, but it turned out super dope in the photo shoot, so I'm glad I went this route. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the options are endless as far as your creativity goes. You can do it with a part, without a part. It's up to you. The beauty of this entire style is that I can just take it off. Y'all, it literally took me five minutes to take this bad boy off, so... Y'all know me, it's all about ease of use and I am so glad I went this route and my photos came out amazing at the photo shoot even though it was so early in the morning but you know, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know right? The final looks for the photo shoot were actually posted on my Instagram this week so make sure you go over there and check those out. And that is it. That's a wrap for the video. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe week. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.